Granit Xhaka and Jadon Shaqiri risk receiving a two-game World Cup ban for their goal celebrations in Switzerland's last gasp victory over Serbia on Friday night, with FIFA opening an investigation over a potential breach of their political and offensive messages regulation. FIFA will look at the two incidents in question after Jakir and Shigiri, both ethnic Albanians from Kosovo, appeared to make a gesture that mirrored the Albanian double-headed eagle flag. A Serbian crackdown on the Albanian population of Kosovo in the 1990s has left plenty of ill feeling between the two nations, and while Jakir was born in Switzerland, the Arsenal midfielder has made a point of embracing his Kosovan roots, due to his father being a political prisoner who was jailed in the former Yugoslavia for three and a half years. Shaqiri was born in the Kosovan city of Jilan, before emigrating with his family to Switzerland as a young boy. Produced a good save to deny its melee in the first half, but was left exposed when conceding from Jakir and Shaqiri in the second. An experienced head at right back. He notably tired as the game grew old and was unable to offer more support to Tadic. The young defender showed plenty of composure in dealing with the direct runs of Shikiri and Zmaili. A solid performance ruined at the last by the misjudgment that allowed Shikiri a free route to goal. The match winner in his side's opener, he contributed less from an attacking perspective here but was solid as ever in defence. The Crystal Palace man seemed off the pace for much of the midfield battle, and was eventually subbed. Walked a tight rope after a first half yellow card which made his second half defensive duties all the more difficult. Orchestrated much of Serbia's best attacking play, his passing and crossing to Mitrovic especially was a joy. The Lazio youngster offered glimpses of his exciting talent, but often tried to do too much to the detriment of his team. A frustrated figure on the left flank for large periods, he was at his best in the early stages when doubling up on Lichtsteiner with Kohler off. Showed off his great strength and work rate in a game where he scored one fine header and should have had a penalty. As ever, he tired towards the end and was booked. Unconvincing at times in his goalkeeping, pushing the ball back into play more often than he needed to. Arsenal's latest signing brought experience to the Switzerland backline, but not the attacking intent of previous years. Given a tough evening by Mitrovic, but battled on to marshal his defence to victory. The young defender was pulled around by Serbia's movement but used his pace well to cover any over-enthusiasm. The left back impressed going forward, and gave Ivanovic no end of problems with his runs in behind. At the other end, he struggled when Tadic was on song. Provided necessary defensive cover during the spells where Serbia dominated. The Arsenal man dragged his country level with a stunning strike and was a dominant presence in midfield alongside Birami. So frustrating at times, he demonstrated once again that he has the brilliance to win any match. Ineffective for long periods, he clipped the post with an audacious effort before his last minute intervention. A lively figure around the Serbian penalty area, he lacked the instinct and movement to find his way onto the end of Switzerland's best moves. Looked to test Stojkovic whenever possible, his finest moments, however, came with clever passes behind the Serbian defence. An anonymous figure in the first half, he was hooked in a half-time change that spared Switzerland's comeback. 
produced a good save to deny Ismaili in the first half, but was left exposed when conceding from Xhaka and Shaqiri in the second. An experienced head at right back, he notably tired as the game grew old and was unable to offer more support to Tadic. The young defender showed plenty of composure in dealing with the direct runs of Shaqiri and Tmaili. A solid performance ruined at the last by the misjudgment that allowed Shaqiri a free route to goal. The match winner in his side's opener, he contributed less from an attacking perspective here but was solid as ever in defence. The Crystal Palace man seemed off the pace for much of the midfield battle, and was eventually subbed. Walked a tight rope after a first half yellow card which made his second half defensive duties all the more difficult. Orchestrated much of Serbia's best attacking play, his passing and crossing to Mitrovic especially was a joy. The Lazio youngster offered glimpses of his exciting talent, but often tried to do too much to the detriment of his team. A frustrated figure on the left flank for large periods, he was at his best in the early stages when doubling up on Lichtsteiner with Kolarov. Showed off his great strength and work rate in a game where he scored one fine header and should have had a penalty. As ever, he tired towards the end and was booked. Unconvincing at times in his goalkeeping, pushing the ball back into play more often than he needed to. Arsenal's latest signing brought experience to the Switzerland backline, but not the attacking intent of previous years. Given a tough evening by Mitrovic, but battled on to marshal his defence to victory. The young defender was pulled around by Serbia's movement but used his pace well to cover any over-enthusiasm. The left back impressed going forward, and gave Ivanovic no end of problems with his runs in behind. At the other end, he struggled when Tadic was on song provided necessary defensive cover during the spells where Serbia dominated. The Arsenal man dragged his country level with a stunning strike and was a dominant presence in midfield alongside Birami. So frustrating at times, he demonstrated once again that he has the brilliance to win any match. Ineffective for long periods. He clipped the post with an audacious effort before his last-minute intervention. A lively figure around the Serbian penalty area, he lacked the instinct and movement to find his way onto the end of Switzerland's best moves. Looked to test Stojkovic whenever possible, his finest moments, however, came with clever passes behind the Serbian defence. An anonymous figure in the first half, he was hooked in a half-time change that spared Switzerland's comeback. The gestures were picked up on immediately after Friday night's match, with FIFA confirming an investigation had been launched last on Saturday. A statement read, the FIFA Disciplinary Committee has opened disciplinary proceedings against the Swiss players Granit Xhaka and Erdon Shaqiri for their goal celebration during the match Switzerland vs Serbia. Shaqiri plays down political furore after goal celebration according to FIFA's disciplinary code. Article 54 states that anyone who provokes the general public during a match will be suspended for two matches and sanctioned with a minimum fine of 5,000 Swiss francs. 3,800 pounds. Serbian fans inside the stadium were incensed by the gestures, which are thought to be pro Greater Albania, with Albanian nationalists claiming they own parts of Kosovo, Serbia, Macedonia, and Greece, according to the BBC. 
Booth, Granite Jacker and Chaired on Chaeri are under FIFA investigation, EPA. Should they be found guilty and handed the maximum punishment, Jaka and Shaqiri will miss the Swiss final Group E game against Costa Rica, a potential must-win encounter if Serbia beat Brazil, as well as the last 16 tie against one of Germany, Mexico and Sweden should they go on to qualify. Eri was asked about his decision to perform the gesture after scoring an injury time winner in the 2-1 victory, but perhaps fearing further sanction, he batted questions away. I can't discuss the gesture I am afraid. We are footballers not politicians, he said. All I can say is that I scored a goal I am proud of. We can't discuss anything else. Emotions sometimes take over footballers and there was a lot of emotion out there. To score a goal like that, it is very difficult to keep your emotions under check. Chair Don Chiqueri celebrates his winning moment, Reuters, FIFA have also launched an investigation against Serbia after a group of fans were seen wearing offensive jumpers at the game, which featured the face of convicted war criminal Ratko Mladic. In relation to the same match, disciplinary proceedings have been opened against the Serbian FA for crowd disturbance and the display of political and offensive messages by Serbian fans, the statement continued. Furthermore, a preliminary investigation has been opened against the coach of the Serbian national team Leiden Kostadjic for alleged statements made in the aftermath of the said match. Granit Xhaka celebrates his strike. EPA, the head coach made a complaint through the Serbian Football Association regarding the performance of the officials in the match, with Kostadjic making comments about Felix Brick in the aftermath of the match as well as Serbian FA Vice President Savo Milosevic. Swiss media critical of Shaqiri and Jaka's controversial celebrations the FIFA Disciplinary Committee has also sanctioned the Polish Football Association with a fine of 10,000 Swiss francs after fans displayed a political and offensive banner during the match against Senegal. The Argentinian FA and Croatian FA have also had disciplinary proceedings opened against them after crowd disturbances. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.